Irish pig farmers are amongst the most efficient in the world, with just under 300 farms producing 3 million pigs every year. But has this all come at a price and has Irish pork lost its flavour? The results of a recent survey by top chef group Eurotalk Ireland were that most members were unhappy with Irish pig meat. The chefs believe that Irish pork could taste better if pigs were reared outdoors in less intensive farms. 88% of our chefs said that they weren't happy with the quality and the number one factor for them was lack of taste and then they did go on also to say you know that there's that the meat is very lean and tends towards dryness and um, they raised things like use of GMO feed, animal welfare, they were the kind of main issues that were coming up. These were things that we wanted to go back and look at and see were there things that we could improve and, and ultimately would this impact on taste. Most of the catering trade and restaurant trade, 60% of what they use is imported. And if you think about the, the, the distance that's come, that meat has come, hanging around in cold stores and so on and so forth, it can't be as good as the quality of meat we have here because it's, it's produced locally and eaten locally. Commercial pig farmers like Pat O'Flaherty are very focused on producing lean meat from grain. He sells 15,000 pigs a year from this indoor unit in County Kildare. We uh, produce 300 pigs a week here. There's 300 pigs a week born every, every week, 52 weeks of the year. They're weaned at four weeks old. Then they're changed to a second shed where they go to a weaning shed. And then they're moved to the finishing shed where they spend three to four months. And that's where the most of the meat is produced. Pat's pigs are fed barley grown on a neighbouring farm and processed in a factory 15 miles away. But the price he gets is determined by the world market. What we're about here is producing the best quality uh, meat we can produce. And we believe it is the best quality in, in, in Europe, if not in the world. Irish producers are amongst the most efficient in the world. And what, what that's all about is we lose very, very few pigs. And to me, that's the essence of animal welfare. We, don't, we lose very few. Commercial pig farmers respond to what we, the general public, want. If there's a market for outdoor pig, then they'll go for it. The real question is, can you taste the difference? To test this theory, Pat is building a new pig house to see if outdoor pigs really do taste better and fetch a better price. The idea here is that uh, pigs will be reared the same way they were reared in my grandfather's time, which they have a traditional pig sty with the pigs inside, but they have a pop hole over here and they can go in and out as they so wish. So the bit that's new is, is over there, is where over they there, have yeah. access to outside, in Correct. a small pen outside. They have a pen outside, they can run in and out there. Uh, they can mooch around there all day, come back in here, feed, lay down, whatever. They can choose themselves whether they want to be in or out. And they're coming out? Yeah, they're coming out, yeah, they're, they're coming out. They seem to be happy enough there. These girls have never been outside before? They've never been outside before, no. So it's a bit of a novelty? It's a novelty, absolutely, yeah. Now, the weather is not so good, but the idea of the chefs that I've spoken to have said the idea of sun on their back will help the taste. They, they think it will. Uh, time will tell. We'll, we'll do a trial here and see, do a blind tasting and see how it works out. We hope that at the end of this pilot that we will, you know, find a difference in taste and this is something that our chefs are definitely willing to pay for. Free range outdoor bred pigs are kept largely on smaller mixed farms. Ronan Byrne raises poultry, pigs and vegetables on his 30 acre farm in East Galway. Is it your belief that being outside changes the quality of the meat? Yeah, because they stretch, they run around, they roll around, they lie down. In the summer in particular, they, um, they, lie, they lay, out, lay out there and the young pigs, you see them run around during the summer. Then in the winter, they kind of semi-hibernate, they spend their time inside relaxing um, and sleep. One of the big problems at the moment is getting a regular supply of free-range pig meat. So by coming together and forming an outdoor pig producer group, small-scale farmers hope to solve this problem. For us, supply and demand is always difficult because you know you have, you have sales coming all year round, but you never have enough supply for to meet the demand. And the producers group will probably allow us to meet the demand more steady over the over the course of a year instead of stop-start supply. It's going to be niche. The demand for it is niche and the supply is going to be niche. So there'll be a happy medium met between, uh, between price and demand. In a blind taste test, yes. would you notice a difference? You would. You would. You'd notice Of course you'd say that. <laughs> of course I would say that. But uh, you would notice the difference. You know, there'd be a um, small bit higher fat content. 
To see if I could taste the difference myself, I went to Wineport Lodge on the shores of Loch Ree. Eurotalk President Fergal O'Donnell has to choose between two pieces of pork loin, one outdoor bread and the other conventionally farmed. OK, well, this shouldn't be too difficult to... Uh, spot the difference. Spot the difference. Well, like, straight away, you can tell the beautiful colour here on the free range here. The, um, you got it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, so this is the free range. Well, tell me how range. you know. Well, basically, on, on the back, you, you can tell by the, by the colour. Um, that, that's an intensely rare pig that's been kept indoors, so it's quite white. Um, here you have a beautiful um, pig that's been outdoors most of its life. Just looking at the fat content when you, you know, put them side by side, that obviously has a layer of fat to protect it when it's outside. This one here is a lot leaner, um, very, very little marbling. Uh, you have a very small layer of fat there. Throughout here you can see a little flecks of fat here. The white flecks, yeah. White flecks of fat here. That's going to make it a lot more tender. It's going to have more flavour to it. It's going to internally baste the meat as it's cooking. Fergal, I have to say one thing for me, as someone who likes to eat meat, yep. this looks tastier because there's a hell of a lot of fat on this one. There is a hell of a lot more fat on this, but as I said, the, 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 the flavour, as a chef, we would um, prefer to see a little bit more fat like this one um, because it's, it's, it's a better cooking piece of meat and you have much better flavour, so the customer obviously gets a much better product. The price difference is twice as much this cost. I would prefer, I, would, I have no problem paying twice the price for a, a better product that I can do more with. I left Fergal to cut and fry the two pork chops. The high fat content on the outdoor pork may not be to everyone's taste, but it's what the top chefs want. Now, Ella, here we go. That was quick. Two pieces of pork. And so this is the free range one, this we should free, be clear. Yeah, yeah, this is the free range one and this is the other one. This is the Antoine. conventional meat. Yeah. This tastes good. I mean, it's mm -hmm. certainly what I'm used to. Yeah, it's fine. Um, this is the bit you gave me mm -hmm. of the free range. Yeah, I think mean, there's a big difference in flavour. There is a difference in taste, there's no yeah, doubt. Much, much, much better. It's almost uh, nuttier. There's a nuttier mm -hmm. taste. Who knows? Maybe outdoor port can deliver for both chefs and farmers in the future. There is a middle ground. There is a, an area where we can come together with farmers and get a better product for everybody. And as I said, we're more, more than happy to pay more money for it, uh, for a better product. Music